All right, Sagittarius. There are so many messages coming to me that, um, especially with these three major arcanas in a row. So if I repeat myself, I apologize. I just want to say that off the bat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. One thing that I'm definitely looking at is not only do we have three major arcanas, we may have three major decisions, three different situations to deal with. This may be very much work-related, relationships, or love-related. But they they all, for me, these three represent a decision. What's interesting, too, is not only do we have the three of pentacles, and this is the number three, and I'm doing a reading for March, which is the third month of the year. Uh, but at the same time, I'm looking at these numbers, and four and six make 10, Plus 11 makes 21, and that goes down to a three. So these also are a three. And what's crazy is this. The Queen of Wands is a court card. So to me, numerically, there's no number. She's zero, you know, in in so many ways. There's no number here. But when we have three and we add the three here, we get a six, which is the lover's card in the major arcana. It leads us back to love or a decision. So there's so much importance, I feel, of the number three for you in March. Now, let me put this back because this was reversed and the emperor is in our challenge position. I feel, first of all, I'm being led to the lovers. There is love possibly coming in for quite a few of you if it's not there already. And I can't help but ignore the lovers with the three being so significant. There may be, and I'm really seeing this almost like as a triangle, just like this triangle here. There may be a love triangle going on. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be regarding you. You may hear of a love triangle. You may meet somebody, a lover comes in because they recently divorced because of a love triangle or maybe the wife or the husband, whatever the situation is, uh, that they had a love triangle going on. I'm also, though, very much getting triangle like pyramids, pyramids, triangle. I don't know. Maybe somebody's traveling where pyramids. Um, I'm also picking a uh, pyramid though as gambling for some reason. So, but getting back to the love triangle, what I wanted to say, I mean, we have the emperor here and we also have the queen of wands here. And I almost feel like this with the emperor, as I said, being in the challenge position, she almost, and this could be male or female, looks like she's looking over at the emperor to see what he wants to do. There's just a hint of it. And because he's in reverse and in the challenge position, I feel like he's having a hard time making a decision. Now, this could be in love, in a relationship. But it could also be I'm picking up in terms of work. I very much feel like this is this is very much government related, like government employment. And this person may not know where they're going to be living because it's up to this person or they're waiting to get information about a transfer because I'm very much picking up government or law or official business or military, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army, something to that effect. And I'm also picking up the like Maryland, DC, Virginia area, possible Florida or even New York and even the Middle East. So I feel that there is something going on 
This could be very much military related, but closer to home, I feel like this could be a move, a physical move. I feel like there's, especially here, it's, it's a rebuilding or restructuring. So this could be within the family dynamics, especially since we have the emperor, the number four, which references family foundation structure. And I don't know, maybe there's been so much moving around that things have gotten a little off balance. And with time, things get back in balance again. Now, let me just see here because I'm picking this up also as a health. I'm getting, I don't, I'm getting iron lung. So I don't know if somebody's having surgery on their lung, but I'm also very much, okay, I'm getting birth and I'm getting twins or the twin cities, twin. I don't know. Twins is going to have some meaning to someone. This may also be, I'm feeling like surgery possibly on like the, I don't, I'm, I don't know if this is the stomach area or like uh, uterus or something. Like, I feel like something is going to be revealed within someone's system. And I don't know. It's just like um, peeling back. The layers is kind of what I'm getting, almost like an onion. So this could definitely be in a health way or, I don't know, like scraping. I'm getting scraping. So it just could be something surgically. It doesn't have to be anything major, but uh, that's something that I'm picking up. But I'm also pe feeling like things being hidden, secretive. Secretive places, secretive, let's see, secrets, communication secrets. Uh, there's a need for something to be revealed. That's how I'm picking this up. Let me see. There's, I want to see what's under. Let's look at the outcome card. Oh my gosh. Another queen. See, these are the pyramids that are the triangles, three triangles, the queen. Okay, wait, I had it this way. Wow. This is, I'm seeing her also as possibly some, someone legal, communications, gov government. Okay. I just, okay, I just heard that there is a decision being made in terms of possible change. I don't know if this is in a profession or if this is a different level or security clearance, something like that. This may also be in school because uh, I'm focused on the three of pentacles. There's a decision to be made in terms of or messages. I'm getting messages. So I, maybe there's messages that you are waiting to hear back regarding uh, a career, regarding a job, regarding a school. Do you get into the school or passing the bar? Like there's messages coming in. There's also secretive messages that I'm picking up or that something, you know, we have We've got two Geminis. You know what's so, look at this. All four, like we've got our bases covered. I'm hearing somebody saying they've got their bases covered. Because if you look at this, all four people are sitting. They're all sitting down. I don't know if I've ever had that in a reading. <laughs> Not only are they sitting down, look, she's looking to the right. The justice card is looking at us. She's upside down looking this way. And the emperor is upside down looking this way. So it's like all directions, like north, south, east, west. Everything is covered. All four corners, four bases. You know, and it's almost like something is, in, in, what do I want, impenetrable. Hopefully I'm saying that right. 
like you can't get past this. I don't know. Something is very much guarded. You know what? I just saw this. This is someone's heart. I wonder. Okay. I'm getting heart surgery, but I'm also getting someone's heart is guarded. That's what it is. It's almost like I feel like someone has, I'm seeing this as a key. Somebody has the key to someone's heart or, and, but they're not allowing them in or what is this? Oh my goodness. There's messages all over. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I, it's, I just like, you, you can't, I, I guess the key is love. Okay. I just heard that Beatles song. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love is all you need. Isn't there something about, there's something that's a known. Um, I'm trying to think of the words. Okay. Well, I'll tell you something. Knowledge is key. I feel there are major decisions coming for you, Sagittarius, in March. Some decisions will be made by others that will affect you. Other people, it's going to be where it's up to you to make the decision. And I feel very much that there is, you know, what's so interesting? There are no cups here. We have wands, we have swords, we have pentacles. There's no cups, but there's the lovers. And with the queen of wands here, I almost feel like this is very, how do I want to say, I guess kind of highly, very physical attraction. Like, okay, I didn't, um, I just... I, I, when I said that I heard fatal attraction, but I don't want to say that I'm just talking about the movie, but I feel like physical attraction. Where is the love? Where is love in your life? That's, that's, I think the, the key. I just feel like, I don't know if there's somebody around you where you feel like they are able to turn themselves off like a light switch, that they're able to just shut down or very much keep you out. They have everything guarded. Like there's two sides to them. And maybe that's why there's two cards representing Gemini. There's, you know, I, and I always love showing this when, you know, here's the queen, male or female, doesn't matter, but you see her in the gray and then you see her in the blue and white. Like there's two sides to her. And I'm also getting like two way radio. There's two, there's transmissions or communications. But I think that there needs to get clarity on, on what this is. And some of you are going, the answers are going to be revealed in March. Because I'm getting two-way radio, two-way, two-way street. It's a two-way street. Uh, Things go both ways. I, I, I'm just getting like messages back and forth, back and forth. It's almost like I'm hearing Morse code and I have no idea why. So, but there also could very much be in love a decision to be made. All right. Sagittarius, a very, um, very powerful reading as I stated earlier. I really hope that this brings you some insight or some guidance. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful March and I hope that the decisions that you have to make will bring you empowerment and enlightenment out of, like I said, out of this, you know, it's peeling back the layers and finding that light in this darkness. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching.
Take care. Bye.